We're going to jump straight into the action. Semi final Thursday. That is still never going to catch on. But we remain tonight in the Joshi division. As I don't, I've been told, we don't want to do the the title card for this because it's out. It's obsolete. Is that a Matt Hardy reference? Please don't let that be a Matt Hardy reference. I don't want to get sued. Tony Khan has money and lawyers. Anyway, everybody look at the cute cat girl. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, we go with the ring. From the realm of the Yorkai. Representing Monster of the Union. Indeed, representing Monster Union and the Manipulator conspicuous by her absence here. And there's the battle cry, Viva! Monster Union! An accumulation of monsters, yokai, and other inhuman creatures brought together to do some special wrestling. Hey, it's pro wrestling, it doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> Suck it, Cornette. Seriously, he has no idea who I am, and nor should he. Okay, wait a minute. Who's... That's Akira Marinade's video, but what the hell? And her opponent, making her way to the ring, the mistress of a thousand holes, Akira Well, it was last week we saw Akira Merine attack and betray her longtime tag team partner, her fellow queen of wrestling, Dragoness. Annoyed with Dragoness being able to win a match last week, but not being able to win the Joshi tag team titles at, uh, at Champions Week, as part of Champions Week against Tiger and Bunny. And now this looks like a completely new attitude, new ring gear, new music, new haircut, more efficient, I will admit on that. But that's a brand new Akira Meta, and I don't think Nekomusume knows what to make of this, and frankly, neither do I. 10 minutes on the clock, standard singles match here. Tachiai, collar noble tie up into a takedown. And a straight right hand, that's not Nekom Sorry, that's not Akira Meta's usual style. This is, we've been noting all season the, uh, the increased level of aggression by Akira Merine, but now I think she's, she's just letting it all loose here. Just throwing her opponent straight into the mat, not going for a hold, not trying to manipulate her opponent, just trying to, oh, here we go. This is a little more of the usual Akira Merine style we've come to expect leading into the Shades of Takamichinoku with just a face lock. And the AWL Simuverse, our robotic fans, not particularly happy with what they're seeing out of out of the, the, the former Joshi champion. The first ever Joshi champion, of course. Could have met it. Oh look at this, going into the right to the Juji Gatame. Wait, hold 20, Nijuji Gatame. And the referee saying to break, well, wait a minute, no, reverse, and escape. Nekamusume barely able to get her, her hand out of that precarious situation, her front paw. Kick to the midsection, misses. Nekomusume coming back, vertical suplex, snapping. Akira Merane straight into the canvas of that 20 by 20 foot ring. Eight minutes and change now, what do we have? A twist to the head. Neko Musume may be showing off a little more than she should here. Should have gone for the cover immediately, I think. And only gets a one count as a result. About two minutes in here. Plenty of time on the clock. And now it is Akira Merine who is, who is kind of showing off a bit here. That's not her usual style. I mean, she's always had an ego to her, but as they say, it's not bragging if you can back it up. And she's, by pretty much every metric, the most successful woman in this division. 
And now rolling into the Boston Crab. A simple maneuver, one of the first moves ever taught to most trainee wrestlers. The Boston Crab versus submission hold, certainly. And many places here in Japan, that's considered an insult to try to submit somebody with a Boston Crab. Side Russian leg sweep into the seated Manji Gatame. And we're about to hit the three minute mark. And that's all we're gonna hit, exactly three minutes. And Akira Merine has defeated Neko Musume. Right there, side Russian leg sweep, transitions perfectly into the seated Manji Gatame. And you see here, I didn't realize this at first, but the tap begins a little bit early. Referee calls to the bell and it takes a second for Akira Merine to acknowledge and break the hold. She never would have done that in the past. Here's your winner, Akira Oh, come on! All right, tomorrow the men's tag team titles are on the line. But I don't like what I'm seeing here. Ashtamol Suzuku.